What's going on guys, Dwayne here with my investment journey and I am back again. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about the seven dividend payments that I got in the month of May. So seven dividend payments and in the month of May, I was able to make the most in regards to dividend payment that I've ever made for dividends of any month. Once again, that's seven dividend payments and it totaled $640.27. So that's what we're talking about in this particular video, the seven dividend payments that I got in the month of May. Hey, if you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and on this channel, I talk about how to invest in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so when it comes to the stock market, I've been kind of doing my thing since 2020, May 2020. So currently at the making of this video, it is now June 1st, 2022. So I've been invested in the stock market for two years and boy has it been an interesting journey. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do I'm going to show you guys on the screen currently my portfolio. So you're looking at my portfolio on Robinhood right now, and my account is sitting at 224,000. This is live right now. Okay. So it's actually after hours. It's like seven o'clock here in Houston as I'm making this video. Uh, you can see on the screen, it is June 1st. So this is June 1st. I will upload this video at hopefully by tomorrow, the 2nd of June. Uh, but this is kind of where my portfolio sits. Just to kind of show you guys uh, my all time investing on Robinhood, I'll click on all and show you what's happened since May of 2020. So as you guys can see here, I started to kind of really reinvest back on Robin Hood in 2020. Initially, I started in 2016 and I lost almost $4,400. So as you can see below my portfolio balanced, it says negative $4,399. So that's kind of where I was until I started back in 2020. Since 2020, you can see my portfolio went down here. Uh, October the 30th, 2020, I was at $195,000. My portfolio, I have invested $254,000 right here. You can see 254 since May 2020. Okay, so my portfolio was down here, negative 63,000. Okay, uh, of course, my portfolio has been all over the place. At one point, my portfolio was up uh, quite a bit here, $301,000. So I was up $42,000 December 31st, 2021. Uh, of course, my portfolio was down. I was up again April 1st, 2022, $301,000. Overall, I was up $43,000. Uh, I've been down substantially here May 20th, 2022, down $60,000. So as you can see, my portfolio is all over the place. Uh, in the last year, I'm actually down 5.58%, which is negative $13,000, as you guys can see. So um, like I said, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you guys the seven dividend payments that I got in the month of May that allowed me to get $640.27, right? This is the amount that I've made in uh, dividend payments in the month of May 2022. So I'm going to show you guys here every single one. At the very bottom of the screen, you can see my very first dividend payment on May 10th. If I scroll down a little bit just to show you guys the April 29th. Okay, so May 10th was the first dividend payment that I got and it was with AGNC. And at the time, I had 205 shares and AGNC was paying 12 cents per share, which allowed me to get a dividend payment of $24.60, okay? That's with AGNC. The second one was with Apple. Um, AGNC pays quarterly, not quarterly, they pay monthly. So I get a dividend payment from AGNC every single month, okay? Apple pays quarterly, and uh, this was the biggest Apple dividend payment that I've gotten because I got more shares with Apple. At the time, I owned 1,266 shares, and Apple was paying 23 cents per share, which allowed me to get a dividend payment of $291.30. So of course that was exciting. The next one is with Stag Industrial. Stag Industrial pays uh, monthly, okay? Uh, at the time I had 249 shares and they were paying 12 cents per share, which allowed me to get a dividend payment for $30.33. The next one is with Kender Morgan, 
who pays dividends quarterly. At the time, I had 112, uh, 112 shares, and they're paying 27 cents per share. It allowed me to get a dividend payment of $31.27. The next one up is Prospect Capital. They do pay monthly. At the time, I had 1,048 shares, and they're paying six cents per share. The screen just changed colors because the stock market is officially closed. Um, and then, um, at, because they're paying six cents per share, I got a dividend payment of ninety-two dollars and ninety-two cents. Okay. Now, of course, Robinhood goes ahead and grabs more shares with the dividend payment, so it's automatically reinvested. Um, and then the next one is Almore Residential REIT. Um, on May the 27th, at the time I had 972 shares. They're paying 10 cents a share, which allowed me to get $97.20. And then the most recent dividend payment, which was 23 hours ago uh, on May the 31st, was um, I had 1,076 shares with Gladstone Capital, and they're paying 6 cents per share. So that allowed me to get $72.65. Now, those are seven companies, and uh, overall, I think I am pretty much down with the majority of these companies. Let me show you guys uh, my portfolio here. So if we take a look at AGNC, because I know that was one of the first dividend payments I got. Um, currently with AGNC, I'll open AGNC, I'll open um, Armor Residential REIT. I'm pretty sure I got a dividend payment from them. I don't remember saying their name out loud. Maybe I didn't get a dividend payment from them. And I was supposed to because they pay monthly. That is crazy. All right, so let's see. I'm going to open that window. Um, I got Gladstone Capital. I got Kinder Morgan. Um, I got Stag. I just want to show you guys where I am in regards to what my position is and my overall return with those particular companies that I got a dividend payment from. Prospect Capital, I got one from them as well. Okay, so I think I have eight tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven, seven is right. Okay, so maybe that's right. Maybe I do have the seven. I don't remember seeing Armour Residential REIT, but I will find out. So we have AGNC here. Currently, my average cost per share is fourteen dollars and forty-eight cents. So as you guys can see, I am down my total return. I'm down eighteen percent, which is negative five hundred and fifty-five dollars with AGNC. And just to kind of show you guys, I got that dividend payment, like I said, in May, right here, May tenth. And it was reinvested on May 10th, and Robinhood went ahead and grabbed two more shares. Okay, so it took the $24.60 and grabbed two more shares. Uh, the next one is with Almore Residential REIT. Currently, my average cost per share is $11.54. This is the one that pains me a lot. It kills me because I'm down 34%, which is $3,900, $3,922. Um, I think I got a dividend payment here in May. Yep, May 27th here. Um, and it was reinvested on the 27th. They were able to grab another 12 shares here because I have dividend reinvestment turned on. That's with Amor Residential. And we have Gladstone Capital. Uh, my average cost is $10.84. So I'm still in the green with them. I'm currently up overall 5%, which is $686 with Gladstone. The next one was Kinder Morgan. Kinder Morgan, my average cost per share is $14.69. I'm currently up 35%, which is $599. I think I got a dividend payment with Kinder Morgan in May. Let's double check. Yep, May 16th here. And Robinhood went ahead and grabbed another 1.59 shares. Okay. Uh, the next one is Stag Industrial. Um, my average cost per share is $40.34. As you can see, overall, I am down 17% with Stag Industrial, which is $1,743. I got a dividend payment in May, and May 16th for $30.33. And they were able to grab 0.87 shares uh, with Stag, so uh, under one share. Uh, of course, I got a dividend payment with Apple in May. As you can see, my average cost per share with Apple is $149. Overall, I am down with Apple negative 1.04%, which is $1,977. And I got my most recent payment with Apple in May, uh, which was $291. And uh, Robinhood went ahead and grabbed some more shares. They were able to grab 2.01 shares uh, of Apple at 
um, let's see how much was it at the time at one hundred and forty three dollars and sixty six cents. OK, and then the last one is with prospect capital. My average cost per share is seven dollars and twenty six cents. I'm currently up overall five point four one percent, which is six hundred and thirteen bucks. And then I once again got my most recent dividend payment in May, May 19th. Um, and they were able to grab 12.15 shares, as you guys can see right there. Okay. Um, let me see. I feel like there's one that I'm missing. Um, yeah, maybe I already talked about it. Gladstone Capital. Um, I think I did. Let me see. Let me double check real quick because I want to make sure I show you guys all of them here so i pulled up gladstone capital yeah i already talked about it because my average cost is 10.89 eight four ten dollars and 84 cents per share uh, and that was my last payment which was like 23 hours ago so should be may 31st right got it okay i just want to make sure i like to nerd it out and make sure that i show you guys exactly so once again as you can see my portfolio as of today is $223,000. Today I'm down 2.15%, uh, which is $4,917. Um, I just wanted to show you guys once again seven dividend payments in the month of May, which equaled $640.27. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. All right, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.